The first time I had a granita, I thought it was a sorbet. And it was at this little Italian place in Boston. And what was the main difference that I learned that day is the difference between a sorbet and a granita is they both are made with water and some kind of sugar and some kind of fruit. But a sorbet is made more in the style of like an ice cream is made. So you actually spin it and it creates kind of a solid form of it. Where a granita is more of something you make yourself. It's an ice that you scrape and the texture is a little bit different. So um, this is such an easy, easy recipe. It's based a lot on a champagne cocktail that I do that's on this channel called Never Let Me Go. So it has the, it has the two components of blood orange and capoletti. And capoletti is a natural version of Aperol. Listen, if you don't have blood orange, if you don't have access to blood orange, you definitely could use grapefruit juice, um, orange juice. The most important thing is if you can squeeze it yourself, that's what's going to make the difference. Because um, for some reason, it is hard to find kind of blood orange juice in a supermarket. I'm, I'm lucky to have this uh, access to all these great farmers markets here. And a, well, this is from a farm uh, up in Fresno that just makes unbelievable juices. But if you, you definitely can get blood oranges during the winter time anywhere across the country. So you could juice those and have that juice. So listen, there's two different ways of doing this. Um, I always am making so much of it, so I'll use a larger bowl, but you can use a small bowl. And it's a really, really simple formula where every ounce of blood orange juice, you're gonna put three quarter ounce of capoletti. So we could, you know, you could be, if you're not making a lot, you could take a jigger and literally just jigger that out. Or the easiest way and faster way is just to take a measuring cup. So for every cup of blood orange juice or orange juice or grapefruit juice, I'm going to use three quarter cups of Capoletti. So what I think I'll start off with, because I do use a lot, um, is I'm going to use, let's see, I think we can do three cups of blood orange, right? So that's one. Two. And then three. Now listen, one of the most important things for me with this and how I, when I start doing measurements like this, I try not to put everything in one cup and put it in. I try to do things in even stages. So what I mean by that is, is I put a cup in. So if anything gets distracted, it's like I know I have two more cups. I'm not putting everything in. I don't remember what I put in. It's nice to just try to keep a mental track of what you're putting in there. So that was three cups. So now I know I have to put three quarters of a cup three times. So we'll do that. And again, I talk about Capillary and the champagne cocktail in the Never Let Me Go video. So that's once, twice, and then we'll do it three times. And I'm Ran out of a capoletti, so we'll go and grab another Amaro like Chinar. Chinar, I love using it a lot. I actually have a cocktail that I love putting blood orange in Chinar. So these Amaros and these bitter things go really well with the blood orange. I only really need to come up with another quarter of an ounce so or quarter of a cup. So we'll get that in there. Perfect. And what's great is you end up discovering new flavors when you do this. So what what's nice about this is don't stress about it if you don't have something or, or you run out of something you can sub there are plenty of things that you can substitute and it's always a nice surprise to know that you discovered a new flavor so just keep that in mind now the one of the things i love to do too now this is great on its own there's no question about this is great on its own but if you start getting a little bit creative and you want to put some herbs in there you can lose so, use so many different kinds of herbs i love using the flowers of herbs to put in there um, I'm going to use cam fresh chamomile today. You can use dried chamomile. You could put tea in there if you wanted to. Uh, mint would be great. Uh, any kind of flowers. But I'm going to use chamomile. This is a German chamomile. There's uh, two different main types of chamomile, German and Roman. The German actually has that more sweet kind of flavor. I love using this for muddling. I make oils with this. Um, it's a key ingredient in the Vente de Pomplemousse if you dry it which we're going to have on this site as well. And just, just enough to really kind of get some flavor in there. Because what's great about the granita is it will take about three hours to freeze. Now, I will explain to you in a second, but we're going to give that a quick little mix, right? So that's in there. 
And then we're going to cover it with plastic. And then you're going to just put that in the freezer. Now, obviously, and lucky for you, I have another one already set up in the freezer. So this is going to be a nice batch that I'll put there. And let's take the other one out. And then what I did is I, I juice oranges a lot, you know, for my kids or if you have the leftover blood oranges. I like to use a kind of a jigger like this. This is actually a one and a half and a three quarter. And I like to use that as the vessel. So I'll take one of these frozen, these are page mandarin cups, and I'll put that like that. So the easiest way is to take, like if you, if you were going to juice your oranges for this blood orange, or I juice oranges all the time for my kids, you know, I have a juicer. You can use those hand squeezed juicers. And what happens is this is the actual rind that you would throw out okay, or discard. So whether I'm juicing like this or whatever, I take that and the more that I can kind of crush that down because what I'm trying to do is create a cup, the better, and then I freeze it. And then this just gets placed right on top of here. And then if you can see in here, the whole point of this is it's the alcohol makes it freeze but not too much. And if you use a, an alcohol that's too high of a percentage of alcohol, it won't freeze at all. So these things like capillettis and chinars and vermouths, they're all around that, you know, 14, 15, 16, 18% percent alcohol. And because you, you, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio, it's going to freeze better. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll just start, look at how easy that is. I'm just taking, I'm literally taking the fork and scraping and it does it so easy. And then what I'll do is I'll take a spoon and I'll just spoon that right in there. So this is a wonderful thing that I like to give people, especially on a hot day or if it's warm inside. And this is one of the things that I'll give them when they first show up too. So you, you have the granita. I like to get like a little special spoon if I can or a small spoon. And this already has the herbs flavored in it. So let's, uh, let's give that a try. But you see also is that's going to stay a while too. That's nice. Because this is frozen, it's keeping that cold, so it's not going to melt right away. The color is beautiful. Mm. Wow. It, you've got, again, the blood orange is my favorite citrus of the, of the oranges. It's sweet, it's sour, it's got that little bit of bitterness, but not too much bitter from the capoletti, and it's super, super refreshing. Mm. Remember, you can use orange juice, you can use grapefruit juice, any kind of citrus, but stick to the ones that you don't have to add sugar to. So typically you add sugar to this, but because these liqueurs, like Aperol and so forth, are sweetened, you don't have to add any sugar. So that takes the place of it. So again, be creative. You could, you could take a huge grapefruit and put a huge, you could do different granitas in there. You could do one of orange, one of blue orange. That, that would be a really amazing thing if you had a grapefruit and you did so. The whole point is, is to be creative with it, make it your own, and um, use the citrus that you can. Cheers.